Alright, hi, I'm Bruce Cook, and today we're going to be reviewing yet another pepper um, I've grown. Um, this is going to be the Red Scotch Bonnet. So this was the uh, the next one I had picked after uh, the Dragon's Breath. And uh, I had actually got the seeds to grow these things from a Scotch Bonnet, a very large Scotch Bonnet, um, that came in a pack of Scotch Bonnets uh, that I got from the farmer's market. So, um, what's weird though is the Scotch Bonnet that I had gotten the seeds out of was like twice the size and most of the Scotch Bonnets uh, growing on my uh, plant um, are about this size. So, I'm not sure why they're not growing um, to be the same size or similar size to the one that I pulled seeds out of. But, uh, I was only growing these uh, just for the fun of it anyways. You know, just I'm, I am going to use them for hot sauces later on in the year, um, and then give them out to like friends and uh, coworkers and stuff. But, but yeah, this is the uh, Red Scotch Bonnet. Give it a little twirl so you can see this. So we're gonna cut it in half, see what the insides look like. So I did, uh, I did pluck this from the plant um, close to a week ago. And it's been sitting just to guarantee that uh, uh, everything was ripened through and through. And we're going to make sure there's also nothing icky inside. That's definitely ripened all the way. So this is what the insides look like. Very, very thick walled. Very thick walled. Let's get you a little close up. So, and this is, uh, this was also the first, uh, red scotch bonnet to fully ripen on my plant. And, uh, I have picked others and put them, uh, away to make hot sauces later on. But I will be, uh, for those of you that I said I was gonna, going to, uh, send some, uh, packages of peppers out to, uh, some people that's helped me out and, and stuff, uh, uh, I will include, um, some red scotch bonnets and ahi lemon drops. And uh, as I stated before, those two varieties I'm not going to be selling, but I will uh, um, be like throwing them in packages here and there. So, I mean, I got plenty of them. But we're going to try this uh, Scotch Bonnet out, and I'll let you know what I think. So, here goes the red Scotch Bonnet going in. A lot of sweetness right off the bat. They're very thick walled, it's hard to talk. Good. So much pepper. Yeah, it's down. That was that was very sweet. Like the same kind of sweetness you would get from a red bell pepper. A little bit of fruitiness, but more than anything, it was it was very sweet. And this would be why a lot of people like these Scotch Barnet peppers. You know, there's uh, yellow ones as well. I grew yellow ones the uh, first season I started growing peppers. Uh, it's because they're very much like habaneros, but they're a lot sweeter, a little bit different taste. The so habaneros are sweet as well, but these scotch bonnets are uh, uh, quite a bit sweeter. Say so the heat level right now to one. So it's uh, it's actually it's like a habanero type heat, more of a little stingy uh, feeling, like on the tongue and stuff. I'm getting uh, it across the uh, the top of my tongue, like in the middle of my tongue, a little bit of heat radiating under the uh, underneath the tongue, a little bit of tingling on the lips. Um, still still at a one. Actually, it feels like uh, this is as spicy as it's gonna get because I'm not feeling any climb. I'm still getting uh, a lot of, uh, I'm still getting the sweet taste from it though. That, that sweetness is lingering. Uh, I mean, I, did, I didn't expect this Scotch Bonnet to um, be all that spicy anyways, at least compared uh, to the other Super Hots. Well, the other Super Hot Peppers that I'm growing, the Scotch Bonnet isn't a Super Hot. Uh, I guess it would be just considered a normal hot pepper. Not mild, but you know. Uh, above the Thai pepper, 
I kind of think orange habaneros are a little bit spicier on average than uh, a lot of these scotch bonnets. So the uh, next pepper that I will be reviewing, um, it's either going to be later today or uh, tomorrow, because I have today and tomorrow off, will be that uh, Carolina Reaper I've been talking about. I picked that after the Scotch Bonnet. It was like a couple days after Scotch Bonnet. So all these peppers that I'm picking that I'm going to review, I'm trying to uh, um, keep them sitting out in my bedroom after I picked them for up to a week just to guarantee the insides of the peppers uh, have ripened through and through. And I found if you pick the peppers, uh, uh, either pick them like real early or like as soon as they uh, are in their full ripened color, but you don't give them any uh, extra time to ripen on the inside, you end up getting uh, a lot of bitterness from them. You'll get that from picking and eating uh, green spicy peppers as well. A lot of bitterness. But there was absolutely no bitterness in, it, in this uh, scotch wine. It was just sweet, sweet, sweet. It's got me salivating. Uh, the heat's already died down. It's like a fraction of a one. Um, I didn't think I was really going to be reviewing, uh, the, you know, the heat for this thing. It's more about the flavor. Since this is the sort of pepper that uh, um, you would expect uh, average people that like to have uh, some spicy things once in a while. This is the sort of pepper that they would use while they're cooking. You know, this and a lot of the other mild peppers that you typically see at the grocery stores like jalapenos, serranos. Uh, sometimes cayenne peppers or Thai peppers. So, but uh, uh, yeah, that that'll be my review. So, um, stay tuned later tonight, or tomorrow. I'll be doing a really wicked awesome looking Carolina Reaper pepper. It's possibly like the the coolest looking pe Carolina Reaper I have ever uh, seen on any of my plants. I know I've been growing on this is the third season and uh, this this next one is very very a very gorgeous pet pepper so it's still got me salivating <laughs> I'm spitting while I'm talking but uh, yeah stay tuned for that and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one